See, your, ble- you, your blessings are kingdom benefits. And these blessings give you an edge over unbelievers. You know, you look at people like Bill Gates or, you know, whoever, and you think they're blessed. They're not blessed. Listen to me. There's a difference between being blessed and prosperous financially. Now, you can, now part of the blessing is prosperity, but just because someone's prosperous doesn't mean they're blessed of God. And we have to stop looking at the world and all the blessings of, you know, Rihanna and whoever and think, oh, look at her. She's got this. He's got that. And we have to start to look at the one who has our everything, who holds blessings, waiting to pour them out, who is ready to bless us. He's already blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. What more could we possibly really want or need? And yet he promises to take care of us, to give to us anything else that we might need out of Jesus, the glory, the riches of his glory. We have to begin to understand how blessed we are. Tell your neighbor, I'm blessed. You have to understand that the activation of the blessing is in your words and in your deeds. Come on, somebody say it's in my words and my deeds. We can't just confess our way through life. Faith without works is dead being alone. We've got to do something sometimes to activate our faith, to activate our blessings. Listen, if somebody said, I want to give you a car, come to my house at 6 o'clock, and I'm going to give you a Royal, a, a Rolls Royce. I would have to go over there and get it. Some of you have blessings stored up, and you need to go get them. Amen? The enemy has held them back long enough. Now you're not cursed anymore. We've been through this whole series. The curses are broken. Now it's time to step into the blessings. But it's not enough just to stand there and say, bless me, Jesus. You need to sometimes go after it. Amen. God will tell you where they are. He'll say, go here at this time and you'll meet this person. It's a divine connection. Go apply for this job over here. That's how I'm going to increase you. Go over here and I'm going to give you favor. We have to do something sometimes to see what God, to to, to the blessings that God wants in our lives. You want the blessing of the Lord in your life. And when you understand what these blessings do, you will want them all the more. Listen, if you don't want your blessings, please leave them before you go back to wherever you came from.